of 1989. We're in Boulder City, Nevada, right outside Las Vegas on Lake Mead, and here they come for the start of Heat 1A. They're in lane number two. It's going to be the Mr. Pringles boat. Scott Pierce in Mr. Pringles has taken the lead. Coming up in second place out of lane number four, George Wood Jr. in Old Boy, Alberto. This is a two-mile course, Dick, as they come off on corner number two and down the basket for the first and three times. Now, let's explain this to our viewers. Most of our preliminary heats are in two sections, 1A, 1B, with five laps. This is a different concept. They run an extra heat, but they only run three lap sprints in each of the sections of the heat. But the points are the same. 400 for first, 300 for second, 225 for third, and down the lane. And only the top six point getters will get into the final for the Budweiser Las Vegas Silver Cup. And there you see George Woods Jr. getting a little bit light out there because with only three laps to go, he's got to move fast if he's going to come up from second place. And he has challenged. Chip presents Mr. Pringle several times. Also moving up in there, it looked like the Nevada Pilot boat of Jerry Hopps trying to come up on the inside in third place. But there's your leader, the multicolored Chip presents Mr. Pringle. Incidentally, Chip, we might point out also to the fans watching for the first time, these boats are on a flying start. So when they hit the nose of the boat on the line, as the final second ticks off the clock, they are upwards of 200 miles an hour going into the turn. And also, let's explain, we give a lap speed of 130 mile an hour, 138 mile an hour. That's for that whole circumference you're seeing there. That whole track made by the track on the water. Not the straightaway. The straightaway speed will near 200 mile an hour to average 130 to 140, right? Actually, sometimes it'll surpass it. Not on this course, though, because you can see how rough the water is as they hit into the turn. So that means they've got to get off the power a little bit, and they literally hang the boat on that skid pin on the left inside sponsor. You're looking at the second place boat, and that is Cooper's Express. First place is now Old Boy Alberto Dick, and you know why? Mr. Pringles has been assessed an extra lap penalty for hitting a buoy prior to the start, according to the officials. So it's Old Boy Alberto first, Cooper's Express second. This is your third place boat, Marina Casino Hotel, Steve David. And that's quite a penalty to have to go under in a three-lap race because he's not going to be able to catch up to the rest of the field at this point. This is your leader, Old Boy Alberto, George Woods Jr. We had just talked to Jim Harvey before the race, and you heard his comments. They had a rough go of it last week, but they sure start right this time. Winner in Heat 1A, Old Boy Alberto, George Woods Jr. Second place will go to Mitch Evans in Cooper's Express out of Indiana. And I'll tell you right now, Dick, you're right. It's really tough on a three-lap heat to make up any penalty that you'd be assessed at a cost in the heat. Old Boy Alberto first, Cooper's Express, Miss Marina Casino, Mr. Pringles, and Nevada Palace. Winner of the first heat is George Woods Jr. And George, number one, you knew there was a penalty early on. Yeah. Scott was right out in front of me. I didn't actually see him hit the buoy, but it was standing earlier, and then all of a sudden it looked like a fresh mark. His sparks were everywhere in the water. And I thought, I wonder if Scott hit that. And I thought, boy, if he did, there's no way he's going to catch me in a three-lap race. So we're just going to stay right here and just handle it nice and easy and get through the heat. And sure enough, it was Scott, and we got us the first place. Lake Mead outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. The start of Heat 1B, and here come three boats into the forefront. Lane number one is the Circus Circus, Chip Hanauer. Lane two, the Winston Eagle, Larry Lonerback. And lane three, Tom Dietz in the Miss Budweiser Circus Circus. Leads them down into the first turn. And Dick, as they go in the corner number one with the Circus Circus leading. Two championships can be decided right here. The lead boat is Circus Circus. Chip Hanauer can win the U.S. driving title. The Miss Budweiser second place, if he maintains third or better, will automatically give Bernie Little four straight world crowns, and that's never happened before. Well, an exciting race for a couple of drivers out there, not to mention a guy like Larry Lauterbach, who's trying to stave off the attack of the Miss Budweiser, but he is so far having to fight for his life on the inside. Budweiser on the outside in second place right now as they come around.